going on everybody? This is Brandon from BTAF Fitness. So today we're going to be talking about macronutrients. So you might be asking, what are macros? I'm sure you've heard of it. The four main macronutrients are protein, carbohydrates, fats, and alcohol. These all contain calories are going to add up to your energy consumption for the day. The first macronutrient we're going to talk about is protein. Protein contains four calories per gram. Uh, one of the major functions of protein is repair cells in the body, which includes muscle tissue. This is why you hear people that work out always saying, make sure you get your protein in. The next macronutrient I want to talk about are carbohydrates. Uh, these seem to get demonized a lot, but they're actually very important for a healthy functioning body. They contain four calories per gram, and carbohydrates are the main source of our energy. That's why they're so important. They get broken down into glucose to be used as fuel by the cells in our body. Fats are our third macronutrient I want to talk about. They're also the most calorically dense, coming in at nine calories per gram. Fats provide the body with energy, help with the function of hormones, and are also important for absorbing fat-soluble vitamins. Alcohol is our last macronutrient I'd like to talk about. It's also skipped because it's not considered an essential macronutrient, but it's the second most calorically dense one, coming in at 7 calories per gram. Uh, mostly it's considered empty calories, and that's why a lot of people gain weight when they drink a lot. I want to talk a little bit about why macros matter. Um, you hear all the time to either gain weight or lose weight. It's about either being a caloric surplus or a deficit. But what's filling up those calories are actually your macronutrients, which are going to have different outcomes on your health overall. You want to make sure whether you're in a surplus or a deficit that you're not missing out on your nutrients. So in this case, uh, I compared three ounces of chicken, a cup of jasmine rice, a cup of broccoli cooked, and uh, two tablespoons of sugar-free barbecue. Uh, came out to about 300 calories um, versus six Oreos, which is actually more calories at 330 calories. So obviously for the first one, um, you're getting a lot more nutrition. Uh, you're going to get a lot more food versus just six little cookies, uh, which isn't going to fill you up much. And clearly you're not getting the same nutrition. Uh, it's way lower in protein. Uh, it's a lot higher in fat. And the carbs are comparable, but it's coming a lot more from sugar instead of complex carbs. It's not to say that you can't have Oreos and still make progress, but you need to understand how it fits into your total energy intake for the day. What is the best macro split? Uh, this question is very subjective. It really depends on your goals. Every individual is going to respond a little bit differently. Uh, for example, 130 pound female trying to put on more muscle mass is going to be a lot different than a 230 pound male trying to lose some body fat. This is the reason you can't just blindly follow someone else's diet plan because their body is going to be different than your body. Several studies have shown to maximize muscle growth. One should consume roughly 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight to 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight of protein daily or 0.7 to 1 gram per pound of body weight. Current fat recommendations from the World Health Organization also suggest one shouldn't consume less than 20% of nutrition from fat. Uh, like we talked about before, fat's important for regulating certain functions in the body. Uh, you start going below that threshold, you're going to jeopardize those functions. Whenever you're changing up your nutrition, uh, you need to ask yourself a few basic questions. Uh, ask yourself, how do you feel? Do you feel lethargic? Do you feel like you're energized? Do you feel good? Do you feel bad? Uh, are you satiated? Do you feel full? Do you feel hungry? Uh, how's your performance in the gym? Do you feel like you have more energy? Do you feel run down to where you can't perform the way you were before? And uh, most importantly, is it something you could adhere to consistently? Uh, if you're doing a crazy diet and you can't do it consistently, whatever results you're getting short term, they're not going to last very long. So making sustainable habits and whatever your goals are is the most important thing. If you found this video helpful, uh, please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up and you have an awesome day.